Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing Surviving the Aftermath. This video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive, so thank you very much for the sponsor, folks. The game is available in early access now on the Epic Games Store and Xbox One. It's coming out on all platforms later this year. It's receiving a lot of regular updates. This is a new one. It releases February 6th. I'm actually getting to play it a little bit earlier than that. I'm pretty important, okay? I, I registered for a YouTube account, so I'm a pretty important guy. I'm saying that as I look like a mad scientist to escape from a mental asylum. <laughs> the hair and the very pure white outfit and everything. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna survive this aftermath, whether we like it or not. <laughs> right, new game. Do I need a tutorial? <sighs> <laughs> Everything in my being says no, but also uh, these games can be quite complicated to jump into. So, yes, give me a tutorial. Oh my god, I feel like I turned over a new leaf. Okay, so our difficulty adjusts depending on what we pick throughout. Okay, interesting. So cities are demolished, but nature prevailed and catastrophes frequent. <laughs> that was probably a mistake. Chaotic, no restrictions, anything is possible. It's called suffering or success. Yeah, go with that. That's my motto. Or no, wait, that's suffering and success. <laughs> Alright, let's design my visual flag here. I think a nice green for Ireland. And to keep it in the Irish theme, we're going with skull and crossbones. I was thinking in my head how I could relate that to Ireland and all I can think of is the famine, so we're not gonna go there, even though I kind of just did. Colony name. Oh, yes, I get to name the colony. Dead feckers walking. <laughs> colony motto. I want a random one. Cats won't go quietly into the night. Huh, that's a bit vague. <laughs> that's like something that'd be scratched into the stall of a toilet. All right, I'm gonna make my own. No gain, just pain. Perfect. Words to live by. Are we good to go? Yay, we're good. God, whoever started the colony and named them dead feckers walking. No gain, just pain. <laughs> Was really having a bad day. <laughs> to be fair, if my world looked like this, I'd probably have a few off days too. I don't think I'd be my usual happy-go-lucky sort of cheery guy, you know? I think I'd be more like, damn, the apocalypse happened. And it's rare for me to be that negative. A wild boar. Boar. Okay, 10 colonists are homeless. Don't worry, guys. I'll get you out of this emergency shelter it is. Oh, look at my starting position. This is awesome. I have a moat. I've always wanted a moat. And the only time I tried, I flooded my bedroom. My parents put me up for adoption. Still think they overreacted. All right, so we got a work area here. What would I get them to gather? Honestly, why didn't you build your house here? You could salvage this. Put up a few pictures, a few fake plants. <laughs> the place is lovely. There we go. Go there. You've got concrete, you've got metal, and you got wood. Honestly, I probably put that a bit too far away for no goddamn reason. Wait, there's nuclear waste? All right, maybe you do stay there. Don't, don't go near that nuclear waste, I don't think. I think we need more tents. I don't know why I'm putting their houses like right at the entrance. That's probably not a good idea. You should probably have some defenses or something, but oh well. It's not my fault they put me in charge of people. I couldn't even take care of a goldfish. I can't even take care of myself. <laughs> like, not a mind taking care of all these people. Oh, the gate. Yeah, let's build the gate back up. We don't even have like shelter and whatnot. And I'm like, build that gate. <laughs> build that gate. This isn't even to keep people out, it's to keep my people in, because I know they're gonna want to escape when they realize how incompetent I am. But I need the manpower, especially the children, because they don't really understand what's wrong yet. <laughs> I could tell them to do anything. Insufficient construction materials? What do you need? Is that metal? Is that what you need? Salvage metal. No, not berries. Stop getting berries. Berries won't build that gate. I don't care if you're hungry. <laughs> Should probably look to build something else as well, like maybe food storage would be a good idea. Oh wait, I already have a food storage. Ah, oh, that would explain why they're only gathering berries. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I apologize. I'm just extremely incompetent. Okay, so if I build a scrapper, he'll gather metal for me. Priority high. Okay, fantastic. Come on, we need to build that gate. The children are already thinking of leaving. <laughs> CPS is at the gate. <laughs> we must hold. <laughs> Under siege by CPS. You can take our lives, but you will never take our children. There we go. I stopped them gathering food by accident. <laughs> like if they were actually coming to me for orders and I was just there like, stop gathering food. <laughs> They'd just be like, uh, maybe we should have a coup. <laughs> yes, they're working on the great gate. Honestly, I think this is important. Like, I put catastrophes high. What if there's, like, someone coming to my door, handing out pamphlets, spreading the word of our savior or something like that? Look, look, just in time, I knew it was the right decision. Group of survivors, you need to make a decision. They have supplies with them. They have potatoes. I'm gonna let them in. Come on in. There is no vetting process here. We just profile people. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna keep building 
building places that can uh, get resources for me. Like, I'm gonna build this recycler and they're gonna get plastic for me. Colonist Lucas is homeless. So you just come in here into our colony and expect a house immediately? Well, you are correct. I am building you the biggest home of all. <laughs> Everyone's gonna hate him. The women and children have to stay in these little tent slums, but he gets his own mansion tent over here on his own. Oh, I can send her around the place. Maybe we should go explore. Oh, the big city. Let's go visit the city slickers. Oh, they used all the concrete. God damn it. Well, hopefully the city slickers have some. We'll steal it. Oh, city slickers are no match for us. <laughs> I'm gonna get everyone killed, aren't I? Colonist Eleanor's injured. What happened to you, Eleanor? What are you doing? Well, with posture like that, carrying those bricks, no wonder. It's your own fault. We're not treating you with anything. In fact, we're gonna build a burial pit. <laughs> we're ready for the inevitable. We're gonna put that right at the front of the colony so they know we're not messing around. Jesus Christ, that must be depressing when I asked them to build a burial pit when no one's even dead. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need water. Build a water tunnel here. We'll get water right next to burial pit. <laughs> I don't see any potential problems with this. Oh, she died due to injury. Well, why did you keep on working? Can someone bury her, please? <laughs> oh, wait, the burial pit isn't ready yet. Okay, just leave her there for a while. We'll get to her eventually. I'm still building the hospital to treat her. <laughs> Better late than never, that's what I always say. Well, except for Eleanor. I don't think she cares at this point. Oh, come on in. Oh, look at him. He's so cool. I don't have a lot to trade, but, and I don't know what this thing is. It looks like science or something. Yeah, I'll take science. Accumulated knowledge used for unlocking new technologies. Well, that was a worthy deal, I would assume. <laughs> Nuclear fallout. The horizon starts turning from blue to toxic green, and the air seems to burn your lungs. These are the first signs of the impending danger. No, I thought it was all happy. <laughs> Harvest crops before they wither. Well, I'm one step ahead because I don't have any crops to begin with. Gather iodine pills from the world map to cure radiation sickness. Build more medic tents or assign more workers. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was already struggling enough. Low on food. Oh, sugar. Oh, yeah, they, they ran out. Jesus, I gotta keep on top of this stuff. There's not even that much to keep on top of. <laughs> oh, God, survivors. God damn it. What do you want? Wait, they have pills. Come on in. <laughs> as soon as you show you have pills, you're welcome in. I'm gonna name her food. <laughs> He'll be the first one to be eaten when we run out of it. Eleanor's still lying there. That's gotta be demoralizing. Let's just pretend she's sunbathing or something. We'll bury her soon. Okay, we got a lot to build. Yes, I got lots of science points. Uh, we should probably keep looking. We need those iodine pills pretty bad. Okay, there's plenty of boars here. Let's make a, a trapper place. There we go. He can live out here with the pollution. <laughs> I built it right on top of nuclear waste. Probably an Indian burial ground too. Ah, well, it's just one person off on their own. The Unibomber of my world will be out there. Oh, sugar. Okay, everyone's sad now. They're all looking at Eleanor like, God, I wish that were me. <laughs> all right, let's just fast forward time. This whole thing will blow over. Jesus Christ, they're radiated. Commotion in the colony. They're fighting. Why are you fighting? One had apparently spent the entire day harassing the other who finally snapped and threw the first punch. Both are now bruised and bleeding. Let them fight. There's more important things to handle right now. The crowd is visibly displeased at your reluctance to lay the blame on someone. Don't we have more important things to be worrying about right now? Like two people are actually glowing. Oh my god, Isabella. What is your skin routine? You're positively glowing. Oh, it's just mild radiation poisoning is all. <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's radiation poisoning. <laughs> Let's research pack tactics. I need to get food another way because all of us living on berries just isn't working. I have to learn how to make a larger larger to progress, but like having too much food isn't something that's an issue right now. <laughs> like I don't have any food and I'm there like, hmm, maybe we should increase our food storage. All right, maybe we should unlock crowbars. That'll help with the old uh, plastics recovery, which is honestly slowing me down a lot. <laughs> Low on food. Go away. Stop telling me. Stop telling me. Go away. <laughs> I'm in denial. Stop it. <laughs> it keeps coming back. <laughs> Riley is an adult now. Fantastic. Get to work. God, there's just bandits everywhere. I don't care about bandits. I need pills. Oh, don't die yet. The burial pit isn't done. Colonist food died. I was so confused when I read that and then I remembered I named someone food. All right, there's two people dead like in the camp. Oh, there's another one. Well, sugar. <laughs> Guys, can you please finish that medical tent? <laughs> On the bright side, it's less people to feed and having enough food is a big problem. And I mean food, not the person food. Well, we also don't have enough of the person food because the food person is dead. <laughs> but I'm talking about food that we can eat. We're short on that. Died due to injury. Jesus Christ. People are radiated and infected. Can you just die? I want all these red things gone. <laughs> a van approaches. Oh, what's up? Dan the mystery van man. Well, he seems trustworthy. Dan the mystery van man is here again with his trademark mystery van. If you want to get what's inside, a microscopic donation will make it yours. Any further inquiries are met with pay up and you'll see for yourself. Damn it, how did he know I can't resist the mystery box? Pay him, pay him. I got a person and 
some carrots. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be in the mystery box. He slowly edges the side door open to reveal a young stowaway munching what seems like a bunch of half-eaten carrots. Well, you bought it, you keep it. <laughs> Dan continues and ushers the child out before leaving the colony. Should we call the police on him or something? All right, well, welcome, kid. Just find a spot to sit down around the dead bodies somewhere. Just try not to touch them. Try not to touch anyone. Honestly, most of us are radiated. <laughs> yes, our medical tent is almost done. How many people do we have left? Eight. Well, that's almost half. <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> Colonist Oliver died. Yay! All the red things are gone now. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be celebrating them dying, but oh well. Group of survivors. Oh, we need you guys. Come on in. So many people just died. Honestly, there's loads of room. <laughs> the burial pit is done. Awesome. This is a great day for the colony. Can we get those bodies out of here, please? <laughs> there's some like in buildings and some like near the food storage and all this. It would be way better if we moved these irradiated corpses uh, over by the water supply. <laughs> we could build a statue of the dear leader. Yes, that is important. Also, we should get some more stuff for food. <laughs> Someone's at the gate. A single person. A weathered woman carrying a worn out backpack matches towards the gate. Do you have any medicine there? She asks as if it's a store. I have four children. As you probably know, they're real infection magnets. I could trade you something for it. I'm interested what she'll give me, but I also don't want to help her. It's like the f Feckin' mystery box all over again. All right, give it to her. I got seeds. I don't even know how to farm. I don't know what to do with these. I think I'd actually have to learn how to farm, though. <laughs> I don't think I know how. <laughs> yeah, learn how to farm. <laughs> Probably something I should have done earlier, but oh well. I'm more concerned about building a statue to the dear leader. Oh my god. Our burial pit is a third full already. We've 10 out of 30 slots taken. <laughs> and there's still a few bodies to get to. There's like majestic deer just walking around our camp. And we're all starving. And we're like, nah, not worth the effort. We'd rather live off berries. Like, Look at him. He's walking around our farm. He wants to die. <laughs> Kill him. Who is our trapper? Because they're not doing a very good job. Colonists want to talk. A couple of your colonists have spotted some sort of a vehicle stuck down a deep crevasse. It might still have some useful stuff left inside of it, but climbing down without proper gear will be dangerous. Let them try. Go for it. And one colonist got injured and we got nothing for it. Maybe I shouldn't make the decisions, okay? Stop coming to me. Some want to venture outside the gate. Ah, sure, why not? <laughs> Another bright idea. They've heard animal noise is not too far away because they're right next to you. But fair enough, go outside. The hunt didn't go well, but no one is willing to take the blame for it. Well, I'm not either. <laughs> it's your bright idea. Look at all these boars stomping around our farm like they're actually eating our crops. <laughs> and we're still not willing to kill them. It's like, they're not animals, they're our pets. We need to go outside the gate to get food. Group of survivors, thank God I really need you guys to come in and work for me. Open this gate or I'll tear it down. Come on in. <laughs> you got moxie. <laughs> like, we've had enough problems. Now we're getting in, like, angry, violent survivors. <laughs> the water well is going. Well, <laughs> they're like, hmm, that's good water. Tastes like Eleanor. <laughs> Poor Eleanor. She died at a good time, to be fair. She missed out on all the hardships. All right, I say we go on the attack instead of attacking some fools. All right, attack. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> she just went in and beat him in unarmed combat. That's right. And now I'm taking your plastics. And you go attack this guy. Jesus Christ. They are strong, independent women. A group of colonists tell you they'd seen an old bear walking past the camp no more than an hour ago. Yeah, go find it. Oh my god, they actually did something. We got tons of meat. I will take the credit for making that decision. <laughs> it's like when it goes right, I'll take the credit, but when it goes wrong, no, that was all you. I found this other town called Greentown, and I'm just stealing everything from this electronics store. I hope I don't piss them off. Oh, well, their colony looks stupid. Mine looks cool. Dead feckers walking way better than Greentown. Someone's at the gate. A hooded figure wants to talk to you. Oh my Jesus, what pills do you have for me? A man approaches a gate dressed in a beaten old trench coat and burying his face inside a large hood. He remains tight-lipped about his exact origins or motives, but offers to join the colony and help out working as a scientist. He's constantly looking over his shoulder while talking and seems overall nervous. Sounds a bit like me. Huh? Open the gate and let the wanderer in. Wait, he stole food! He tucks him into his trench coat pockets and rather nimbly slides between the closing gate. I knew it. I should have stuck to profiling people. <laughs> Not just letting everyone in. You know, you could have just lived with us. We would have fed you, like, forever. <laughs> but instead you steal, like, three corn and run. Right, I built a load of tents. I think everyone is safe in there now. Yeah, the emergency shelters. There's no one. Demolish! This seems a little short-sighted. <laughs> just getting rid of all our shelters for no reason. Wait, there's loads of slots in our burial pit all of a sudden. Where did the bodies go? <laughs> it's probably all in the water. It's fine. All right, it's time to attack people, I think. Go on ahead. This is going really well for me. Honestly, I'm starting to think I'm the bad guy. <laughs> like, I think the bandits are the good guys. A heat wave. Oh, god damn it. Do you see how pale I am? I'm not ready for a heat wave. Honestly, even the name of it. Like, heat, bad. Waving involves social interaction, bad. Heat wave, bad. <laughs> Group of survivors arrived. Oh, come on in. We just got rid of all of our extra shelters. Attack. This is war. <laughs> just go ahead and slap him. 
him and take his place. Okay, great. We can get science points. That's what I was looking for. Oh, yeah, the heat wave. <laughs> I forgot. I should build more water towers. Oh, there's the heat wave. Jesus Christ. That is severe. It must be like 12, maybe even 14 degrees <laughs> for an Irishman. <laughs> that could mean death. I've just unlocked the bartering center. So if you could go ahead and build that in the blistering heat, I would appreciate it. Trade center. Okay, right there. Go ahead. Get building and get farming. Save those crops. Oh, the colorful van. Welcome back. The thing looks like a feckin' ice cream van. <laughs> the people were probably happy for a split second there. Then back to reality. Why do you fires lighting? It's a heat wave. Why are all your chimneys going? Put out the fires, God damn it! I don't really have any sympathy if any of you die now. Oh god, we're out of water, I think. Oh no, oh no, we're good. Why are you complaining then? Why are we minus 20? Oh, I guess we're consuming more than we're harvesting, but that's fine. We've got loads in storage. That's for future Kevin to worry about. There's a vehicle! Yeah, steal it! Wait, that, oh, what the hell? You're surprised to see an old woman with face like a peanut. <laughs> what? What does that look like? Interested in riddles? Answer this. I'm tall when I'm born, but I'm short when I'm gone. What am I? I mean, a candle fits that, right? Aye, that be it. She reaches into her robes and hands you a basket filled with medicine. She just gave me pills for solving riddles. I like that woman. The nicest drug dealer I ever encountered. <laughs> riddle me this if you want your fix. <laughs> and just <laughs> spins off a riddle. Heat waves over. We lived through another catastrophe with me at the helm. Mr. Catastrophe himself. All right, get that car. I need it. I just carjacked this poor dude. Brum, brum, drive away. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely the bad guys. I went over and carjacked him and then came back to kill him. Oh, and he knew loads about science and stuff too. We'll steal that as well. Someone's at the gate. Looks like a scientist. Okay, now that is a scientist. The last guy was just a pervert. For fiber, she'll teach me things. Yeah, that's fine. With a quirky fashion sense like that, I can see why you need some fiber. Thank you for teaching me stuff. Okay, I built a garage for my car, but I don't have power. And I tried to build a wind turbine, but I need nuts and bolts. And I'm the only nut here, I'm afraid. Oh, look at my little car. God, she's a beauty. <laughs> Bit of a fixer-upper, but a beauty. All right, you know what? I think that's a good time to end. Look at my colony. I'm so impressed. I think this is one of the few colonies that I built that didn't go to shit. <laughs> I'm amazed we made it through that radiation storm, to be honest. But yeah, I'd love to keep playing, but I'm afraid it would be too long uh, if I did. But this game... Is really good. <laughs> like, sponsorship aside, I really, really enjoy this. I could keep playing it. I'm getting a little bit addicted, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, we have to leave it there. But thank you very much, Paradox Interactive, for the sponsorship. Thoroughly enjoy the game. If you want to check it out, link in the description. As I said earlier, it's on the Epic Game Store and Xbox One now in early access, but it'll be available on all platforms the uh, as the year progresses. I'm not sure they have an exact date pinned down yet. But uh, yeah, it's there if you want to check it out in the meantime. I'll thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, the fact that it's a sponsored video as well, it just really helps out the channel. So I appreciate you supporting me that way. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you as always. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.